the woman who's, who's switching the, the letters, you know, like this. <laughs> You have the problem that you go a little bit like this. Yeah. Hi everyone, and welcome to a new Begijnhoeve video. My name is Tommy. My name is Rob. And I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy the video. Yeah, Rob has to go because he has uh, to go to a shop to buy some new stuff for, for the stable. Which in this video also you're going to see some really nice new things. And we uh, had the opportunity to try a brand new saddle. So if you're curious, stay tuned. So guys, today uh, it's Monday and I have kind of a day where you are feeling like grumpy. I don't have that much, but today, this morning, I feel so tired and I rode my horses and then there were too many people around the arena working and get distracted and stuff and I just feel like oh so uh, uh, yeah luckily I can um, I only should have done a little bit of online training uh, I could uh, reschedule it to tomorrow and the day after because this week also we don't go to Anki's because she uh, uh, needs to go to a competition with her kids so uh, yeah, I'm just going to be uh, my grumpy me today and uh, hopefully tomorrow I'm all cheered up again and uh, full of energy, hopefully for Rob <laughs> when he come in uh, after he rode his horses, then uh, I'm happy again. <laughs> for now, uh, see you tomorrow, bye. So good morning guys, how are you doing? It's uh, Tuesday now and I'm totally happy again. I'm fully rushed, I did a, had a good sleep. And then uh, when I come now here at the stable, um, the projectors are working now in the inside arena, which means because our arena is 30 meters wide instead of 20. So um, uh, Rob had a brilliant idea to make some projectors, which project the letter on the, on the ground. So you won't have to put fences in, so that's really nice. So what is also really cool is that the table and the lights in the entrance now are, uh, are yeah, set in. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's really nice. Leave down in the comments what you think about this. Yeah, so guys, um, we uh, would like to talk about uh, the saddles. Um, since a few weeks we try, uh, uh, we were uh, yeah, having the new AVR saddle. Um, yeah, Custom is my sponsor already for many years and I'm really, really happy with uh, the Custom saddles because they are like really nice and uh, really comfortable. But uh, yeah, there's this new saddle on the market, AVR, and uh, we would like to try it as well. Um, the owner of both brands uh, came here and uh, he explained a little bit about uh, the saddle. So first have a look at that. Hi, my name is Carrie. I'm with AVR Saddles. Uh, we also make the custom saddles that uh, Tommy rides in, but then AVR is a new brand, a new concept, new design, fresh, uh, fresh start for saddles for us. And, for the industry, uh, unique in that the shape of the tree, the way the system works, uh, yeah, the cushions are foam and they are interchangeable. You can take them out, make new ones in, in a fast way. Uh, yeah, just a completely new, fresh think of how saddles are and how they work for the horse and rider. You just explained me a little bit about um, the system that it's very easy for saddle fitters to replace the... Yeah, the, the conventional old saddles are, are stitched with a thread and a needle and it can be time consuming. And these saddles can just screw in in the, in the front with one, uh, one screw. This is called a fall down or yeah, D-ring sometimes you call it. So then when you take this out, then the front can come away and then in the back it's just uh, two screws and then a click underneath and then it uh, holds the panels in and then yeah you can change cushions uh, for your horse in uh, 10 minutes yeah. yeah and the different thing is there is foam in it yeah and that's really foam. a unique foam actually that we work a long time on yeah other companies do foam panels but they are a little bit of a cheaper grade that's more easily available and uh, you can buy it it's no problem but then there's a little bit of a bounce and it's uh, just not a high-end foam. And this is a blend of an open cell foam and like a memory foam that you sleep on. 
so it gives just a yeah different feel and we think gives a nicer uh, better way for the rider to communicate with their horse you have one horse it's rob's horse he has a very short back okay and it's very difficult for their horse to have a saddle who really really fits probably yeah. because what you just explained me about the function of the wool yeah um so yeah, we're also going to fit uh, a saddle Yeah, we can take one. a look at that and then... And I'm uh, very curious how that will work out with, with that yeah. one with his back. So yeah, we'll sure. I mean, we can get you saddles, yeah. more saddles to yeah. try and good, uh, good yeah, test out. Yeah, super. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, some different saddles sometimes uh, you have the problem that you go a little bit like this yeah. and with this you still have the tendency to, to sit straight, straight yeah. on your two uh, yeah. bones here yeah. and not too, too much to the All back right, yeah. so you're way more uh, sitting uh, with the gate instead of against it yeah. so that, that's very good. Yeah I mean it's a good saddle to play with and then uh, again to put yeah. it against your other saddles and see okay can I be better is he better what am I getting from this? Yeah. I think I know it's better. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of sure. Yeah, way better. So yeah. Yeah, next step. But it is a much smaller saddle on the horse. It's not such a big thing yeah, on their back. Good. So yeah. I think that's making it less for them to have to work around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but also for, for the back, of course. I mean, when, when the saddle goes too much to uh, backwards, I don't think it's good for the movement of the horse. No, for sure. What I noticed right away when you ride him is the stability of the saddle. Because I, I watch him many times with the other saddle and I always, we ha always have this, uh, yeah, we talked uh, with each other about that the saddle is, okay, it was not so bad, the other one, but yeah. it was always moving and now it looks much yeah, sometimes it hangs a bit to the right or the left, and this one is the With center. With a wool yeah. saddle, it's so difficult. Yeah, yeah it's very difficult. You always have something Maybe like 75, this. 75, 80% of the time you can make it good, and then you don't worry, but... Yeah. With this, it is more easy to get the stability, even when it doesn't sit good at all. Okay. Like, I have saddles from Aviar that I make on the horse that you can just... If you blow with your wind, it'll fall over because it's so loose. Yeah. But then when they get it on and it's girthed up and they're in it, it's super it's solid. Good. And it's yeah. really even, to me, it's a little bit like, wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it, it, it is a unique saddle. And from the design and from how they make saddles, they're pretty smart. But then, yeah, there's always an opening yeah. to make something different and uh, be yeah. a little bit uh, more unique. So that's what we try with AVR. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, thanks for trying yeah. it out. Yeah. Thanks for... Letting us Thanks for letting us try it. Yeah. Uh, two weeks ago I had to do the yeah. stirrups mm -hmm. shorter, so I was a little bit like this for yeah. my. But now I have it's space free. for yeah. my knee because it used to be like this, and then you started to sit like this, and that's yeah. also like this. And now but this is like a this. different model than what what I'm having, right? The, for the knee flung is different. Yeah, yeah because the long knee one. That one, this is yeah. the short one. But I think that's short. No, I want it long. Yeah, you want long. And you want it short, so that's perfect. Yeah, my legs are longer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. You have my to have space. To yeah, yeah. Exactly. So my first impression of the Aviar saddle was was really positive. I had some experience with um, close contact saddles before, so I knew that they had uh, that you have way more connection with your horse. Only the difference with this saddle and uh, other brands. Uh, this one is way more comfortable and. Uh, anatomically it's it's more correct um, I had like a small knee panel and so I did not have as much leg support so I did my stirrups one shorter and then uh, my leg was more stable but I had to find that out a little bit what what was best for me um, but what you really feel is that your horse uh, because of the close contact and you have more contact uh, surface with your horse uh, the horse is way more in balance and um, it's it's like yeah how do you explain it's like your horse is really moving under you like you feel like more 
I don't know, the good energy in the right way or something. It's not, it's a bit hard to explain, uh, but that's really good for me. And um, it's a bit of a harder saddle, but uh, I have a big bump, so I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's not a problem. Uh, so yeah, I'm still really, really uh, satisfied. I maybe want to try the larger knee panels. Maybe it fits me better or not. Uh, that's something I have to find out, but that's something really personal. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I rode the saddle as well now for a few weeks and I really, really had to get used to it because uh, the, the seat of the saddle is pretty hard. I can, I can be like uh, the... The, the woman who's, who's switching the, the letters, you know, like this. <laughs> well, um, <Art. laughs> Yeah, compared with the custom, it was really hard. I must admit now, after a few weeks, it become uh, way more comfortable. And what really, really, really makes a difference, in my opinion, is that they used those um, uh, this memory foam, foam. Yeah. and he explained that they that other brands use it as well but that they um, yeah try to find yeah the high-end uh, memory foam and uh, yeah as well with fanatic as with heroes they are pretty difficult to find a, a saddle who have that much of a stabilization so uh, yeah the, the the plus side is the for the horse in this case it was much better the downside for me was like i really needed to get used to the hard seat compared to the custom because then i rode my next horse and i was thinking oh this is so nice this is sissy <laughs> really look at this it's really soft yeah compare it with the other ones before that was like a yeah, hard okay, but i already ride on custom for a, a long time so the harder the saddle the better the connection <laughs> Anyway, so um, yeah, there are uh, two plus and min things. Um, the, the plus side is really the stability for the horse. I mean, it's really stable and really nice. This saddle is really good when you, when you are uh, moving on further in dressage and uh, you want to make everything right. Um, I think this saddle might do the next step and I think that's also what they aim for, I'm not yeah. sure, but I think they want to aim for if, if you want to do, uh, get everything more optimized, uh, this saddle will be for you. Of course it's an investment, it's, it's, uh, it's way more expensive than uh, the, most of the custom saddles. Uh, but you really, really feel a difference. You can perform much better, I think, with this saddle. Yeah, and uh, like I said, if, if I mean, for some horses, it's very difficult to find a saddle who is really stable on their back. Uh, so yeah, if, if you have a horse like that, we can definitely recommend this saddle. If your horse is kind of easy or uh, your budget is not that high. I mean, there is a, there is a huge difference in budget. Uh, for the custom saddle, you pay like uh, three and a half till four and a half thousand. So it's more expensive, but um, uh, yeah, at our point of view, it's a really, really nice saddle. So, it's a uh, nice saddle. <laughs> we give our really honest opinion about it. It's not that we get paid to make this film or so, but uh, yeah, we were really curious because I'm riding in custom already for many years. And we heard many people already talking yeah. about the AVR, of yeah. course. So we were really curious. So uh, now we know, and it really is a difference. Oh, and they told us they get a new model as well. So now they have, this is model number one. And, we have uh, an old model. Yeah, we have an old model, like you. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there is a new model also coming up, so uh, when that's coming out, I really want to try it as well. But for now, uh, with this one, I, uh, I'm very happy and um, uh, yeah. I get your old one as well then, you have two <laughs> Okay guys, okay, I, I really um, um, uh, would like to know what you think. Did, do you already have experiences with the Avier saddle or with custom saddles? Leave it down in the comments. If you have any questions, we will be uh, happy to answer them. Um, for us, it's also uh, like a tryout and uh, yeah, we keep you updated uh, about the saddles, but we thought, yeah, let's share it with you guys. It might be interesting. So guys, we're in the entrance for the first time with the lights working. Uh, I'm actually really happy because it's always quite a challenge to find the right chandelier. I mean, many of them are so freaking ugly <laughs> and they don't give the right atmosphere and the chandelier really makes or breaks uh, a room and especially in the entrance. 
uh, so it was always a little bit exciting. Uh, these are 75 of the small lights, they're from Catalani and Smith. Um, I just saw them on pictures, just a few, so it was like a, a big risk, but it turns out to be, uh, yeah, I think they're, they're really pretty and it's like a little dreamy thing. <laughs> and, uh, it gives exactly the right atmosphere because everything is black and white and uh, it needs some warmth. So that's why I uh, ordered this huge table of seven and a half meters. So it's uh, from one uh, big tree and I used, uh, I choose those, this uh, lamp, this, this chandelier. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy. So f thank you for watching this video for now. Yes, and if you do leave a thumbs up or a comment, always leave comments <laughs> and don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe, to subscribe. <laughs> see you next video see you bye bye <laughs>